Hey guys, we are here with day 27 and I'm gonna be multitasking. So if you're rattling and clanging in the background, I'm just washing dishes while my kids are napping. So yeah, go mom, mom life. <laughs> uh, so, all right, I've posted a few videos now about how the last couple of days have gone. And for me, it's probably been at least the last, at least the last five days now. Things before then had seemed like they were going pretty well, but now I've kind of reached a point where it feels like everything is out of whack again. And so yesterday, my husband and I just kind of took some time to watch some more educational and informational videos. I will link those below. They are the same ones I mentioned yesterday. But basically, if you find yourself in a spot where you're getting really discouraged with your diet because you're not seeing exactly the results that you wanted in the time frame that you wanted and it just really feels like it's taking forever it feels like it's impossible for you to get this right i just want to encourage you to keep going keep trying and you know listen to others who have done this before you and have been through all of that hard stuff and made it out the other side listen to you know the doctors and the scientists on this who are supportive because of all of the evidence the overwhelming evidence guys that human beings really are meant to eat a carnivore diet and live primarily if not exclusively a carnivore lifestyle um, that was pretty much what the video was about yesterday the main one that we were watching and gosh i wish that i remembered his name it might have been Anthony Chafee. It might have been Anthony Chafee. Um, he was talking about like basically human origins, you know, how the evolution of human beings as a species, etc. And how all of that has affected our diet, how that uh, looks. And it was just pretty incredible to me hearing him talk about all of that because it really gave me a lot more encouragement like okay I'm going through all of these weird wacky issues with electrolytes and like heart palpitations and bathroom ordeals and stuff like that because this is such a massive massive change and so kind of what I had to remind myself was simply let my body have time to heal more. It takes more than one month to correct, you know, 20 plus years of eating wrong. So it's just not gonna be a quick thing. I don't know exactly what I thought. I did a video a little while back about expectations versus reality. And I really think that I have my expectations a little bit too quick as far as how fast I was going to adapt and switch. I'm kind of an overachiever type of personality, so everything I do, I wanna do full on and the best of my ability, and I don't like feeling like I failed at stuff. So it really, you know, if you have that type of personality, it can really mess with you and bug you more than it really needs to when you have these issues that don't seem like they're going away. But they do go away eventually. Um, I'm hoping, so the funny part is that my husband has gone through the issues that I'm going through. He experienced earlier on and has been experiencing more of it and is now at a point where he seems like he's actually kind of getting past it and figuring out where his balance and equilibrium is. His blood sugar was a great number this morning. I won't say what because I'm gonna save that for a future video when I talk with him for you guys. and. Uh, <laughs> but he was very happy with his number this morning and it was the first day like since he's been testing for probably a week or so checking his blood sugar it was the first day that he got that really good number and so it kind of gives me hope and he's been the one that's been a little bit more steady and more calm when i'm like honestly dramatic about things i'm like i just want to give up like I'm so tired of this. I just want to give up and eat some carbs because I'm having sugar cravings. And I have the cravings more the worse that I'm feeling. So if I'm feeling out of balance or feeling out of whack, like my brain automatically goes to, if I eat some carbs, it will balance me out. And I think it is my body still craving sugars because I am not fat adapted yet. So it's like, 
it feels like, oh, I've just got to do this thing that's not really good for my body so that I can fix my problem. And it's like, no, that's what caused this problem to begin with. So it's all just this vicious cycle and it's got to stop somewhere. So I just was really encouraged yesterday watching the video and it gave me fresh hope, I guess you could say that I will come out of this better off and it will be okay but it might take me like four to um like four to twelve weeks instead of the like two or three weeks that I was hoping for um so yeah that's pretty much where we're at uh, I don't have any particular advice other than just to say keep going if you've already started this at least give it you know three months if you don't see the results that you want within one month at least give it a go through three months because some of these changes really can take that long to notice and to really switch your body over it's just such a it's such a dramatic change like i cannot emphasize enough how massive of a change this is for your entire system it's a huge shock to the system okay and i am watching my numbers they're not dangerous levels okay i am a little bit concerned about my uh, diastolic blood pressure number my low number which has been like 60 a few times over the last few days um, that's a bit lower than what it normally is for me I think my lowest before was maybe like 65 or so um, it is the low end of normal but you know I don't want it to get any lower than that as long as it doesn't get lower than that I'm I'm gonna let it just ride itself out and see what my body does on its own to correct this after I am fat adapted because I am very much not. I've said that in other videos and it's true. I'm very much not fat adapted. So it will all, all take time. I hope that this is encouraging to you to keep going on your journey, especially if you're early on in your journey like me and you're noticing these different things. And once I make the video with my husband, we're gonna talk about some stuff that he couldn't find anyone else talking about, to be honest. like. And that can happen when you do these major overhauls in your body where you have symptoms that no one seems to be talking about. And that's why in, I think it was yesterday's video, I say, go reach out and find a support group like carnivore groups on Facebook if you're on Facebook or anywhere else that, you know, if you're on social media of any sort, reach out and find those groups because those people are really going to be a wealth of knowledge because they've all been through this same thing before and they're so encouraging it really is great to have a whole community for this that that's pretty much what i've got for you guys today i hope everyone out there is doing well i'm gonna just keep finishing up these dishes here and i hope everyone has a great day i will link those videos for you below that were very helpful and encouraging to me so that Hopefully all of you guys get some encouragement as well and can learn a little bit more about the human body, how it works, what our diet should be like, and have encouragement to keep pressing forward with this. It will be worth it long term. I believe that. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye friends.